Releasing on June 30th, Jordan Brand has given us an Air Jordan 7 in the white infrared colorway. Retail price tag for the sneaker is going to be $200. And in today's video, I'm going to give you my take on this release. We're going to discuss on if the sneaker is going to sit or sell out. And towards the end of the video, I'm going to give you some resale predictions. Now the thing about the Air Jordan 7 is that there is some really nice Air Jordan colorways. A lot of OGs from back in the day that are really coveted, a lot of people really, really like them. But most of the time, it's not really everybody's cup of tea. So they normally do tend to sit, right? If it's not like a Bordeaux or maybe like the Olympics, um, they sit around, man. And that's just the way it is. Some of the collabs do, you know, pretty well and stuff like that. But for the most part, I can't even remember the last time an Air Jordan 7 like sold out, had a like a little bit of hype or anything like that. But there's people out there that love the Air Jordan 7, man, and do try to pick them up whenever they come out. A lot of the times, Jordan brand is like their own worst enemy with the Air Jordan 7 because normally the retail price tag for these shoes are 210, 225, and they really don't covet like that retail price point. So people kind of just sit on them, you know what I mean? Don't really end up picking them up and stuff like that. But when it comes to this one, I'll be honest with you, it's a nice looking shoe. I do think that the sneaker is going to sit though. I don't think it's going to be a sneaker that really people are into right now, especially with July right around the corner. Um, we're expecting a shock drop for the UNC Toe 1s and a couple other releases in July that are probably probably more coveted than this Air Jordan 7 in the white infrared colorway. Uh, one thing is for sure that this is going to be an easy cop. If you like Air Jordan 7s, if you want this colorway, this should be an easy cop for you, whether you want to pick it up on the Nike sneakers app or retailers and stuff like that. But one thing I will say is if for some reason they make these stock numbers like really, really low, the sneaker could sell out, but I really don't see that happen. I think these are going to be plentiful and very easy to cop on release day. Sorry to interrupt the video, but I do want you guys to know that I am giving away a pair of Air Jordan 1 Chicago Lost and Founds in your size whenever we hit 10,000 subscribers on the channel. We're really not that far away. I think we can get there pretty quickly, but the faster we get there, the faster we could do the giveaway. So make sure you guys are subbing up to the channel. You know, make sure you guys share the videos out, let your friends know, because I am giving away a pair of Air Jordan 1 Chicago Lost and Founds when we hit 10,000 subscribers. Now back to the video. Now in terms of resale predictions, it's really going to hinge on how many pairs are actually being released. And if it's like really limited for some reason, which I don't see that happening, um, the sneaker could have a little bit of value to it. Um, but normally like there's a decent amount of pairs for sneakers like this. I expect higher stock numbers. If it has any more than like 150,000, these will most definitely be going for below retail out on the secondary market like GOAT, StockX, eBay, or any of those places that you pay resale for sneakers. So if you're kind of on the fence about this shoe, pay close attention to the stock numbers when they come out because if they're really, really high, if you just wait a little bit longer, you'll probably be able to get them for below retail. And, you know, Jordan Brand's charging $200 for this shoe. And personally, I don't feel like this is a $200 worthy shoe, but, you know, that's debatable. But I just feel like a lot of times um, with the Air Jordan 7s, they don't sell out. It doesn't really have like a whole lot of hype. Most people aren't interested in picking it up, especially when there's other sneakers coming out right around the corner that they really do want to pick up has a lot more hype hype is a crazy thing right so even though this is a clean sneaker i definitely recommend picking it up if you like this colorway and or you're a fan of the air jordan 7 um if you're sort of like on the fence you know i think you can kind of like wait it out and probably get it for below retail a little bit later on down the line but let me know down in the comment section below how you feel about this air jordan 7 white infrared is this a cop is this a pass is it dope or is it trash let me know down in the comments section below. Other than that, I'd like to thank you all for your continued love and support. I appreciate you guys, everything you guys do for me. We're almost at 9,000 subscribers on that road to 10K. Don't forget about the giveaway that I'm doing at 10K. I'll see you guys in the next video really, really soon. I'm out. Peace. For more sneaker content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video.